Strang Ruth Faithful. I just wanted to drop in, bend your ear a little bit, get your attention. So if you're not listening, drop what you're doing and pay attention to me because I'm here to inform you that not only can you get your daily, maybe if you're binging it, I'm not sure, that's entirely up to you, but you can multiply your doses of angry me fuckery by paying attention to all of the platforms upon which you can find either the dulcet tones of my voice and David's voice or my pretty face and David's not so pretty face. Anyways, digressing, we, not only on we are on YouTube, we are on Spotify, we're on Rumble, we're on Google, Apple Podcast. We have a TikTok page. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Facebook. So if you find yourself fuckery deprived, curl up with a nice hot mug of shut the fuck up and just listen. Open those ear holes and be prepared to be cream pied like it's the first time. Thanks for listening. Welcome, Angry Faithful. Today on Psychos and Sociopaths, we are going to talk about another Nurse Dallas one that we already talked about. Uh, well, not already talked about, but another one. Billy Cameron. And yes, that's how I'm going to pronounce it throughout the podcast. Uh, <laughs> well, that when I did the speaking spell, that's how it did. It was like, Cameron. And that's that's the way, a little bit that's loud. The, that's the way that Dr. Stephen Hawking pronounced it. Yeah. Cameron. But uh, it was another one that I don't even think he was a nurse. The last guy was an actual nurse. And uh, Johnny will get with the uh, first pass of, the, pass of this. And, and <clears throat> that. Put the. Uh... Me, 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 me. I gotta get into my <clears throat> lo, lo, lo. scotch, 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 scotch. Okay, here we go. That was for all you Ron Burgundy fans out there. Stay classy, San Diego, and go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know, I kind of miss that. You can't say that about San Diego. <laughs> but you know, it's really sad. You stopped saying that. I don't know when you okay. stopped it. I don't know when you stopped doing that. You stopped saying and stay classy, San Diego. You used to do that all the time on the internet. That's shit. right. I used to. I used to. I used you, to. You need to bring it back. You need to, you need to bring it back the old trope, man. We got all confused and everything. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna stay classy, but I'm gonna bring a different city into it every night. So, you know. Dude, yeah. You know what? We could do that with the uh for the we can do it in like England and Germany since we're somewhat popular there. But then I have to figure out how to say stay classy Munich or stay classy Berlin in German. Dude, I was about to learn sign language just to tell that person to get off the damn stage. They're... And you missed the perfect opportunity to ask them if... if I think if, I figured if... it out. Uh, what, what, okay, this is. But I mean, I mean to oh, add to, to answer Colin's question, though, I mean, does a deaf girl moan and masturbate with no, her hand? No, not for that. No, not for that. Remember that uh, the 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 trans woman uh, singing. Uh, oh my God! Yes, no. I I tried to wash that from my brain. I know. I'm bringing it back because I'm about to. Be, uh, I'm thinking about making a TikTok of that. I got it recorded. I just gotta get it uh, edited. But dude, okay. I think I figured it. I think I figured out how to say in sign language, "You suck." Get off the stage. It's like, you suck. Get off the stage. It's probably not accurate, but you know, I, I would ask some of our ASL speaking audience to verify that. However, most of them are probably listening in closed captions anyway. <laughs> Not that close captioning could keep up with some of the dribble that comes out of our mouths. Sometimes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right. I'm... <clears throat> okay. So. All right. Here we go. Billy Camomir. That's what I'm going with. No, Camomir. 
<laughs> let me let me see if I can get that to roll off my tongue. Billy, come here, mirror, mirror. See, that works. I'm good. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Billy C. I got fuzzies in my nether regions because of that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> he was born December eighth, nineteen seventy-two. He's a Kenyan, convicted murderer, and suspected serial killer, accused of murders of elderly elderly women in Dallas, Texas, and its surrounding suburbs. As of June 2022, Kimmermere River has been indicted for 22 murders. And as of October 2022, he has been convicted of two of the murders. Civil suits have been also filed accusing him of a further six similar murders. Now, Billy Kip Kukorier, Kimmermere, just go with the Kimmermere. I like the dramatic pause. It's almost like William Shatner's reading it. He's like, he is accused. <laughs> Whatever works for you. He was born in Cabagona, knowing. You know what? I'm just going to offend everybody in the in the in the nation of Kenya. Cabon Yonoi village. In a Kenyan suburb of Eldamama Ravine, as the son of a long serving village chief. That's when Mike Rowe and William Shatner have a child and the kid can't hold an audience to save its life. Anyway. I, I'm I'm curious now. What? Cabo nearly. Yeah, you said it right. Look at me, everybody. Hey, hey. All right. Kim Ramirez uh, has convictions for driving under the influence in Addison and Dallas in 2010 and, and 2011, receiving fines and short custodial sentences. And in July 2012, Kim Ramirez was arrested for assault on his then girlfriend in <clears throat> 2016 for trespassing at Edgemere Retirement Community or Community. He pled no contest to both charges later that year. Now, his accused crimes. He's being accused of posing as a medical professional or maintenance person and gaining access to the properties of at least 22 elderly women and smothering them with a pillow. Police in several North Texas communities are investigating Kimmermere for additional victims, believing that a number of previously reported natural deaths may be linked to him. Now, his trial. Well, he was arrested in March of 2018, accused of smothering an 80-year-old woman to death. He was indicted on 11 additional counts of capital murder in May of 2019. And on February 7th of 2020, trial was set for April 1st of 2021. And because we all know that the pandemic happened, the trial was later delayed to November 12th of that year. Kimmermere's trial began on November 15th, 2021. And on the 19th of that month, the judge declared a mistrial due to an 11 to 1 jury deadlock. Kimmermere's retrial began April 25th of this year, 2022. And on the 18th of April, he was convicted in the murder of Lou Ty Harris and was sentenced to life in prison. Dallas County D District Attorney John Cruzet told families in May of 2021 that his office would seek or would not seek a death sentence. However, Kimmermere could still face execution on pending capital murder charges in Collin County. His trial for the murder of Mary Brooks began on October 3rd, 2022, and on October 7th of the last month, Kimmermere was convicted in the murder of Mary Brooks and was sentenced to life in prison. Now, the source for this, of course, is Wikipedia. Um, we're not saying that this is the absolute truth, the end all to be all. However, it is one source, and because we are resolute in trying to give people credit where credit is due, that is where it is from. Now, the next source is going to be coming from NBC DFW, the Channel 5 uh, NBC affiliate from, from the DFW area. Um, this article was dated October 6th of this year, and David is going to, uh, well, he's going to read. Yeah, so have fun listening to him speak. Take it away, David. Prosecutors are in the third uh, capital metal trial, accused of serial killer Billy Kermer. That's how you do it. Uh, presented DNA evidence to a uh, Dallas County courtroom. 
uh, Thursday before arresting their case. The defense also arrested their case Thursday without calling witnesses, uh, just as they did in the first and second trial. When the court uh, reconvened uh, Friday morning, the state and defense will present their closing arguments. After that, the jury will be set to debrief uh, the ver verdict. Camera 49 is accused of killing 22 elderly women in North Texas and stealing jewelry and valuables. This week began with the third trial. He is convicted in uh, he was convicted in April. Sentenced to life without parole in the death of 81-year-old uh, Lou Ty Harris. Uh, first trial ended in a uh, mistrial last November. Opening statement began Monday uh, for the death of 87-year-old Mary Brooks. Uh, if convicted in Brooks' death, Kermamir will receive a second sinning, uh, sentence of life without parole. Cameron Vermeer has maintained his innocence. His attorney presented a not guilty plea Monday. Prosecutor Glenn uh, Fisman, Fins Martin, uh, said in an opening statement Monday that while presenting evidence in the death of Brooks and Harris, he uh, would also show that DNA evidence links Cameron Vermeer to the death of 80 year old Martha Williams. That evidence was presented to jurors Wednesday. The daughter of Martha Williams testified about finding his mother's, uh, her mother's dead body inside her apartment at Plano Preston Palace, uh, Place Retirement Community in March of 2018. She immediately uh, noticed her mother's wedding ring was missing and later noticed an odd uh, stain on a pillow. It wasn't until North Texas Police Agency began reopening death and uh, death investigators in a in the wake of Cameron Mayor's arrest did they revisit Williams' death. Plano Detectives uh, Paul Martinez talked about searching Billy Cameron Mayor, uh, Silver Naza uh, Altima, and finding uh, finding uh, several. Uh, Server platters belonged to uh, Williams in the trunk. Uh, calling County Assist, uh, Assistant Medical Examiner Dr. Uh, Stephanie Burton uh, testified DNA found on the gloves inside Cameron Mayor's car could not exclude Martha Williams and DNA found on Williams' pillow and beneath her fingernails could not exclude Cameron Mayor. Dallas County Chief Medical Examiner, yeah, Doctor. That. That's already, dude. What? <laughs> it's like, you're gonna have to stop. Come remember, Mary. You're gonna have to stop that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> stop. Take off your headphones, dude. Stop. No, because I can hear you over my my laptop. <laughs> uh, okay. Dallas County Chief uh, Medical Examiner, Doctor Jeffrey uh, Bernard, told the jury how homicides can uh, go unnoticed if foul play is not initially suspect by police. If it looks like a natural death, nothing at the moment seems suspicious in the elderly person. Someone has a uh, chronic disease. We may not, uh, not go to the scene, Bernard said. Bernard also explained the challenges of investigating smothering cases with a lack of other evidence. In a case of smothering is, isn't not uncommon, you don't have physical findings, uh, Dr. Bernard said. On Tuesday, Plano police dis uh, discussed Kim uh arrest. I, I almost did it. I'm not going to lie. It's that repetition. Uh, arrest revisited the evidence and the death of Harris as prosecutors uh, worked to show jurors a pattern of behavior among the deaths. Time was uh, of the essence because we believed we had another victim, said Detective uh, Bill Knight. Oh, that's William Knight, that's fucking awesome name. I'm not going to lie. If he, if he should go, instead of Bill Knight, he should go William Knight. That would be, that would be like super awesome, wouldn't it? I wonder if he named his kid Michael. 
Dude, that's even, uh, dude, that's a hundred times better. <laughs> Anyways, digress. Continue, please. Um, da, da, da. Uh, with the Plano Police Department, uh, after officers found a red jury, uh, jury box, yeah, jury box, jury, God, fuck it, uh, and house keys belonging to Harris that were in uh, camera mirrors uh, possession. Officers went to Harris's uh, Dallas home that night and found her smothered to death with a pillow. His arrest was set in motion in uh, March 2018 when Mary Alice Brethel, 91 at the time, told police that a man was uh, for forced his way into her apartment in an independent living community uh, for seniors. Uh, tried to smother her with a pillow and took her jewelry. Before Bethel uh, died in 2020, she described the attack in a tape interview that was pl uh, played for jurors Monday, as it was in a, uh, the earlier of the trial. She said the minute she, uh, she opened her door and saw a man wearing green rubber gloves, she knew she was in grave danger. He said, don't fight me, lie on the bed, Brothel said. Cameron Mirror had been uh, charged with 22 counts of capital mur murder and death spanning uh, May 2016 to two March 2018. Four of the indictments were added to uh, this summer. And we'll get back to that uh, in an interesting thing through uh, Dan Cummings' time suck, but he ended up saying it's, it's weird on different countries on uh, uh, murder char charges. Most of the uh, camera mirrors is accused of killing, living in apartments and independent living communities for older women, uh, older people. Uh, he's accused of killing women in private homes, including the widow of a, of a man he had cared for in his job as a home uh, at home caregiver. In a video uh, interview with police, Cameron Mayer told a detective that he made money buying and selling jewelry and had also worked as a kill caregiver and security guard. Nah, that's the end of that. Now, uh, like uh, uh, Brian English and uh, uh, Eric Tanzi. Uh, both uh, part of the police department in their uh, area. A lot of times they stack these things, uh, stack charges, or or like like this guy has twenty two murder counts. They stack charges and everything to hopefully get prosecuted through uh, uh as much as they possibly can. Uh, but in I think Dan was going over this the the man that killed the most people. By himself, I think he killed like 300 people, and they found like 300 bodies, I believe. But you know how many counts because it was in Colombia? One, one count of murder. They found they found like uh, evidence and everything of uh, all the murders, but because of their laws, they only do like. Uh, uh, one murder charge, and he only had like I think, uh, a couple of years, and he was out. He was like out on parole, and they haven't there. No one knows where he's at now, and he's like the most. Uh, he's killed the most people in a lifetime. So, yay! Don't go Colombia mountains. Yeah. Now on stuff like this, though, uh, I'm, I'm just, there's there's a lot of these types of cases that we've gone over about uh, killing killing elderly people, mm -hmm. and this is actually the first one I think to where the person ended up stealing. I mean, most most serial killers are uh, th thieves at the same time. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the uh, killers, it's uh, a type of thing to where they start killing. Well, they they 
they steal stuff and then they get the thrill of theft the the what do you call it uh a drone rush from stealing and then they get their drone rush from killing except for that one guy in germany that ended up uh getting uh excited the only way he could get excited was to see blood or a horrible like what what was eight millimeter that was a snuff mill basically he had to like watch the person who like masturbate and everything we'll go over him one of these days Mm -hmm. but what's your take on it johnny Shit pump, cock womble. Yep, shit bump, shit pump. But uh, we're gonna try to make this short and sweet on this one. I don't want to go. It's we're only nineteen minutes in. Really? Fuck yeah. This will be the uh, psychos and sociopaths for the uh, section of our, our listening audience, a listening audience that has a short attention span. <laughs> uh, but no, so, feel free. Young men and women, frolic among the weeds, well, go forth yeah. into the into, into into the meadows, and let the wet morning dew on the blades of sweet grass tickle your nether regions. Fare thee well, Felicia. Feel free. <laughs> but we do we do actually <laughs> have communicate with thyself and thy horse that thou hast rode in on. <laughs> what was that? what okay there's a there's an explosion i get them all in the neighborhood that i'm at right now mm-hmm. i get explosions all the fucking time i have to li- i literally have to listen for the explosion and then i have to listen for like the sparkles because if i don't hear the sparkles i know it's gunfire yeah but we actually do have if we want we'll make this a little bit longer uh, we do have a recap, and we're probably going to put the recap on Instagram and Facebook, but we have a, a recap on Taylor uh, Renee Parker that she had gotten its uh, psychosociopaths, uh, Taylor Ray Parker, and she got the death penalty. So. Oh, yeah. Well, there's that. Um, previous episode, Taylor, or Taylor Ray or Renee Parker, she... Uh, She, uh, <laughs> you just missed everything. What? I was leaning this way, and I had this look of concentration on my face. And then I sat back down, and I was like, okay, no, that one was just hot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> At least it wasn't a wet one there. Um. We're at that age, man. We got to judge. <laughs> right. I'll be well, running down the like off just a little too early. Put a, <laughs> squeezed off a bit off of a rosebud there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because everybody I missed it. on the subway diet, and now my neck looks like a vagina. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody uh, missed out on um, like uh, us getting ready for the show. <laughs> Yeah, just before David hits the record button, he was like, oh, that one was wet. And I was like, do you need to go wipe? Do you need to go change? And he's sitting there rubbing his eyes, and I'm like, bro, I mean, we can wait. But anyway, um, yeah, so on our on our Twitter account, mm-hmm. um, I was looking, and, you know, the, the, the whole still don't feel dirty for having paid for my check mark. After all, your mom is still calling me to pick up my laundry. Well, we got a reply to it. Somebody by the name of at hollow starfire says, ha, huh, you paid for it. Excuse me while I point and laugh. I replied, go ahead, point and laugh. We're used to it. We've never claimed to be the best, just the best at the time. It's a grower, not a shower. With the ruler room emoji, hashtag average, and then a Disney Plus hashtag, and then I tweeted it. <laughs> how, how, I'm not getting any, 
How are you getting messages and I'm not? I'm not getting messages. I logged into our Twitter page and I was looking at it while you were reading. No, I got that. But I don't have any. Click on the tweet and then you should see the thread that pops up. Okay, home. Go to profile. Profile. Go to tweets. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. I even gave the person a solid and I like their comment. So whatever. Yeah. This is us engaging with our un un unknowing and unwilling. That response. that's actually the the second troll that we got. But it hey, was I say bring him on. You know, Dale Earnhardt during you know, back when he was still alive, he said it it's when they don't make any noise at all that you figure out that you're doing something wrong. What's the Disney plus PH? I don't know. It was a trending hashtag. I don't really care. Anyways, um, I'm curious. Along the lines of, at our age, you can't really trust a fart. There was something behind that one, and I need to go take a crap. So, my name is Johnny Skelton. I'm David Dickerman. Thank you all for watching, and uh, don't forget to check out all of our other shows. All you have to do is Google Angry Me Production, and you'll find us. Thank you all.